Well, consider this your warning. There are three days to go before Valentine's Day, depending on the status of your relationship. Uh, we know it's uh, Super Bowl weekend, but you can't let it catch you off guard. So keep that in mind. And for a lot of people, that means we're going to be hopping online, ordering flowers in hopes that they'll get there on time. But before you do that, our Paula Tutman has some important advice. She joins us now live to explain more about this. Hi, Paula. Hi guys, yeah, you know what, when you walk into an actual brick and mortar store, you know exactly where you're going, you know exactly where your dollars are going, you pretty much know exactly what kind of product you're going to get. When you do it online, you can't be sure necessarily unless you do some extra work, and that extra work is actually really important. No matter where you are or where you're sending flowers to, your local florist is asking you to take one more extra step before ordering, just one. Call us directly. Uh, it's very easy to click a button on the internet, but oftentimes people are getting what we call order gatherers, which are just computer-based order takers. Roz Mishley is the owner of Village Florist in downtown Romeo. She's been doing this for 35 years. She will tell you online ordering has gotten pretty tricky. You might think you're ordering from your local establishment because web designers have gotten pretty tricky with mirroring websites. They can uh, hijack phone numbers and addresses and they always say, we're your local florist. We can deliver anywhere in 24 hours. And when you see that, you should know that they cannot do that. And even if you do get a reputable online company, many are order takers and farm out those orders to the little guy to fill. Taking a large, what they would call a service fee, and, and they pay a minimum for flowers. Well, they send us that minimum for flowers. They don't send us that service fee. So they receive that big chunk of change, and we have to fill the order or ask to fill the order for that minimal amount. Service fees can cost local florists up to 30% of the price. So consider this, if you order online to a farm out flower service and that order costs, let's just say a total of $108.90, four dozen roses. The local florist who actually fills that order, they'll only get a maximum of $76, depending on the fee structure. But think about this, if you spend only $76 at your local florist, not only do all of those profits stay in the community, but you'll likely actually end up getting more for your money by paying less. You are getting quality product. You are getting product that is brought in, say, for Valentine's Day. We are still cutting product that has just come to us, all right? And that product will go out the door, whether it's Saturday, Sunday, Monday. It's all within days of, re of us receiving it. I want you to take a look at this beautiful bouquet. I wish we had smell -o vision This is absolutely divine. This is the local difference. And again, even if you're not able to walk into your local brick and mortar, when you order online, ask those questions. Where is your physical location? Whether you're shopping in Washington Township or Washington, D.C., all you have to do is shop within a five to 10 mile radius and know that that money is making a difference and you're gonna get great product as well, guys. Very nice tips and beautiful flowers, as you said, Paula. Thank you.